this means, right? You took a shed in your own fucking truck two times because you were too fucking lazy to walk on your feet and take a shed like a man in the bathroom. Good morning, everybody. We are in Springfield, Missouri. There's an underground right there. Let's head down to Arkansas to pick up a load. We are going to Van Buren, Arkansas and taking a load up to Moberly, Missouri, Walmart Distribution Center. So let's go get this money. Oh, looks like we got a revenue collector over there on the other side. Pull the hotshot guy over. Extorting money. I don't know why, but they love those guys for some reason. They keep pulling them over all over the place for some reason. I don't know why. One guy told me that it's easier for DOT to do inspection on them than it is on us. There's a lot less stuff to look at, I guess. I don't know if that's true or not, but hey. I'm sorry that happened to you, buddy. Hopefully your equipment is in tip-top shape, my friend. Ooh, looks like uh, turn on your engine brake sign <laughs> right there. So, yeah, buddy. Somebody's going to jail. Whenever you see two cop cars like that, well, I guess not. I was wrong. Looks like he's scot free. They stole some of his money and he is good to go. like another turn on your engine brake sign. <laughs> yes sir, why not?
and by the way, this road right here is US 65. And we are rolling south, my friend. Welcome to beautiful state of Arkansas, everybody. We are getting on US 62 West and US 412 West. Hey there, revenue collector. I was only doing like three miles over, buddy. Please do not pull me over. <laughs> Por favor, amigo. All right. Good, buddy. Good, buddy. I was about to hammer down earlier, buddy, but I'm like, hey, you better stay the speed limit, my friend, or just a tad above it. That is the right thing to do, guys, and that's the law. Even though they were not in a crosswalk, you still gotta let them go. this load I'm gonna have 190 deadhead miles but I think that's okay because I was about to go home anyway and deadhead empty without any money 
165 miles. So this is pretty good, I think. And it delivers like 45 minutes away from the house tomorrow. So it all works out very good for me, thank God. You know, some of these people, like the guy, for example, that's behind me right now in his little SUV is so freaking stupid. He's tailgating me so bad. I can't, I know he's there, but I can't see him because he's, he's dead freaking close. But he can't go anywhere. And how are you supposed to pass me if you cannot see ahead of me? You're supposed to stay far enough back to where you can see what's going on in front of me so that way you can pass if you want to. But you can't pass here dumbass anyway because it's double freaking yellow line, brah. And he's just sitting there like a freaking idiot, man. I don't know. I don't know. These people are just unbelievable, man. I wish my trailer type kicked up a rock and hit him right in the fucking head. <laughs> That's what I want. Freaking dumbass. I don't know what's the point of tailgating when you know you can't go anywhere. And I'm not, you're not gonna make me go any fucking faster just because you're tailgating me. I'm gonna go as fast as I want and as fast as I feel comfortable with, buddy. That's the key. Don't let anybody intimidate you who's behind you guys. Just do the speed limit that you are comfortable with. Alrighty, we are in Springdale, Arkansas. We got about an hour left to go. I'm gonna top my reefer off and get the reefer started to pre-cool it to negative 10 before we get to our pickup. It looks like I didn't need much. I already had three quarter full, but I like to fill it up all the way, either way. All right, set point. Bring her down to negative 10. All right. Burn like a baby. Let's go get this receipt and get out of here. It's time to get out of here. But before I do, I want to thank Bytham 1979. I want to thank Teresa Taro. And I want to thank Nick. For some coffee funds thank you guys so much i really appreciate it i didn't get a coffee because i don't know what kind of coffee they have here but i got a diet pepsi a little bit of poison in a bottle but that's all right all right let's get out of here
ready. We are on Interstate 49 South. We got one snake house down here that we're gonna have to go around. Okay, if you're gonna get in here, cocksucker, just speed up, stupid ass. You drive a car, bro. You can stop or slow down a lot easier than I can. Looks like we're gonna be going over here to this place on my left. Simmons, Simmons, Simmons Foods. We are here. Let's turn over here and check in with security. I don't know if I'm supposed to. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn in here or not, but I didn't see any sign saying not to. Okay. Go all the way back to the window and talk to Miss Jen. Thank you very much. Alrighty, let's go and talk to Miss Jen in shipping and receiving. See what she says. It is very tight here, buddy. Right? Very tight. But I think we should be okay. Looks like that guy's loaded and that guy's getting loaded. Negative six. So let's go check in over here with Miss Jen. Hopefully she says go to door five. I would take door five. Why not? Five is my lucky number today. Alrighty, we're gonna go off site somewhere. I don't know, somewhere down here. Find a spot and shut her down there, buddy. I think I'm gonna set the reaper to cycle mode until they give me a call, and then I put it. I'll, then I'll put it back on the continuous. All right, that's a pretty cool car right there, revenue collector. Very cool looking car. Like he's collecting some money, man. Gotta pay for all those nice cars, you know. Somebody's gotta pay for it. I'm glad it's not me. Arkansas River. Let's see if it's really brown. Like the GPS shows it. Not as brown, but yeah, it's not too bad, honestly. But anyway, we're gonna go over here to Walmart Park there until I get a phone call. It's only about two miles away, so looks like they have a parking for semi trucks only about five or six spots so hopefully there is a spot for me but I guess we'll see alrighty 
Looks like there are some spots available. Go on, Grandma. Come on. Okay, that. Go on. Go on, you dumb bitch. You see me trying to turn, and you're still coming. Stupid fucking idiot. Let's see if this guy's gonna be as big of a moron. Well, he is not. I'm gonna go down here, park away from everybody. How about right here? Best spot in the house, my friend. All right, perfect. How about a little bit, little bit further down here? Okay, right here. I set the reefer to cycle mode. I don't want to set it to continuous right now because I don't know how long I'm going to wait. But maybe I should just turn it off completely. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to turn it off completely and then I'm going to start it before I leave. I think it should hold temperature pretty good. Alrighty. Well, this is just across the river. And this place right here is Fort Smith, Arkansas. Thank you, Walmart, for letting us park here. But I don't know how long they're going to let truckers park here, buddy, because some of these motherfuckers like to throw some nasty shit, man. It's literally bags of shit. Last night, where I was parked up there in Springfield, Missouri, for my delivery, Literally, there's two restrooms, very nice, very clean, very neat, like 50 to 100 feet away. And there's two shit bags just laying there on the fucking ground. Like, buddy, you took a shit in your own fucking truck two times because you were too fucking lazy to walk 100 feet and take a shit like a man in the bathroom. I don't get it. I don't get some of these guys, man. Alrighty, well, we are back. Keep the doors closed, slide the tandems all the way to the rear. We are going to door nine. Which is going to be between this Whitey Bros. It's not pronounced Whitey. I know, it's Viri. <laughs> and this Freilana. Alrighty, we are back then. It wasn't hard. I thought it was gonna be hard. I always think it's gonna be hard to park, but then, thank God it's not. I slide my tendons to the rear, and in the hole it goes. Easy peasy, buddy. Alrighty, we are loaded. Let's put this seal on here. But first, I'm gonna check inside. Just to make sure that everything's in order. Ooh, frozen, buddy. My load locks are there. Alrighty, there it is. Let's slide these tandems and get out of here. Alrighty, let's get going, buddy. This was not too bad, honestly. Well, I only had eight pallets, so it did not take very long. I'm sure it takes a little bit longer if you have a truckload, but I don't know. You cocksuckers gonna move over? Okay, it looks like they will. Freaking jackasses. Looks like we gonna have some rain ahead of us, my friend. Oh, I gotta, gotta get off here, go to Peterbilt again about getting some parts you know <laughs> hell yeah buddy <sighs> fuck them revenue collectors man that's what I gotta say fucking bitches wow look at all these cameras that the revenue collectors have set up for us <laughs> should I smile and wave or maybe a middle finger for you guys mm -hmm. freaking jackasses <laughs> like that we have avoided those <laughs> cocksuckers and we are scot free my friend all the way up to Moberly, Missouri 
this Interstate 49 North is gonna take us all the way up to Interstate 44, just north of Neosho, Missouri. Yes, sir. Better slow down, jackass. <laughs> See this big ass clear, man? Hmm? I don't know what kind of chicken this is. I know it's frozen chicken, but I was about to ask him for some samples, you know, like, buddy, you got any boxes you can, you can give me? But I don't know, for some reason I didn't. But I think from now on, I'm gonna start asking these people. I'm gonna say, buddy, you got any spare boxes laying around? You can spare, times are hard, man. Let me get some chicken, man. Come on. All right, I don't know what the name of this place is here, but there's a love truck stop at the subway. And for some freaking reason, I'm craving subway. I know it's junk, overpriced food, but I don't care. I want it, I need to have it. So let's go get it. Alrighty, well, I'll tell you what, that freaking subway was delicious, man. I have no complaints whatsoever. But here we go, here we go. It's a straight shot. Well, not straight shot. I still gotta stop somewhere and put some diesel in the truck. Reefers got plenty. So here we go, buddy. Temperature check, still good, negative 12. Springfield, Missouri, Flying J. Just stopping it off with diesel. And this is gonna be a last stop before I get home. I wanna say one thing to you guys. I just hit 10,000 subscribers on YouTube. I never dreamed that would ever freaking happen. And I wanna tell you guys, I appreciate each and every one of you. I appreciate all the comments, all the likes, everybody, even the people who are just watching and not saying anything. You guys are fucking awesome, man. Thank you guys so much. Alrighty, now let's pull up so that other drivers can fill up. This location right here is very freaking busy all the time. So please guys, make sure you do the right thing.
You see, I'm pulled up and there's a guy pulling up right behind me right now. So he doesn't have to wait for me. This is the way, guys. This is the way. You see that guy in White Cascadia. He's a California boy. And the guy in White Volvo. They have been sitting here since I got here. I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they met up here together, jerking each other off or whatnot. But that is not right. You know, one of these days, guys. Guns allowed, huh? Walmart. Okay. <laughs> I got six of them right here, motherfucker. <laughs> what you gonna do about it, Walmart? You ain't gonna do nothing, bro. Got a door 124. It's like it's gonna be over here on this other side of the building, about halfway down. Freaking Swift Central, buddy. We gotta get out of here as soon as possible. Every second we spend here, our truck is in danger, buddy. <laughs> Cause these guys, they fucking suck, man. One, two, two padlocks, buddy. Very freaking cold in there, man. This fucker decides to go in a defrost mode. Oh well. I'm gonna park over here right next to this cab over. Yeller, Freight on a Century, money maker, guys. If you can find a first truck for it to be 
Freightliner Century or Freightliner Columbia with the Detroit 60 engine, you are golden, my friend. I don't think that size applies to me. Alrighty, checked in. Very nice lady working in there. Very pleasant, but I wanna thank all of you guys for following along on another trip with me. Thank you guys so much. After this, I'm gonna run down home because I got some personal stuff to do. And then tomorrow, I think we're gonna head out somewhere. I'm not sure where yet. Maybe another short run. Because on Friday, I'm getting a part that I ordered. We gotta do some more work on the truck. This thing I'm gonna be able to do myself. But anyway, thank you everybody. I appreciate all you guys. Stay safe out there and take care of each other. So I just talked to this gentleman right here in this truck. He was picking up at the same place where I was picking up. And he said that he was there for six freaking hours, man. Six hours. Tell you what, man. I don't know. I would not be happy about that shit. I'm sure it will happen, but he probably had a full truckload and maybe the load wasn't ready. I only had like eight pallets, so. But I would never pick up this load if it was fully loaded. Anyway, because that means that I would be very freaking heavy and I do not like very heavy loads. I mean, I will do heavy, but I will never do heavy from Arkansas up to Missouri on whatever that road is, 49. Yeah, no sir, no way. Too many hills, too much up and down. Well, just got a text message that the trailer is unloaded literally like less than 30 minutes oh, sorry. Go how you doing buddy how you doing got a text message door 124 389 travels for the gate thank you thank you very much buddy you always want to do a tug test when you connect your trailer. Very important. Time for you to catch a break, buddy. Alrighty, let's slide our tandems back. I mean, forward. And close the door. I know Walmart wants you to leave the doors open so they can check inside. But, they don't own this fucking trailer. I do. Yeah. Man, these guys don't give a shit about your equipment. Nobody does. Especially those guys up in Kirksville. But anyway, they want you to leave your doors open on your way. They want you to leave your doors open on your way out so the guard can look at it. I'm like, what's the fucking point? What's the point of leaving my doors open when I gotta get out and close them anyway? Are you leave your doors open and they're just flapping around the parking lot right here. God forbid another truck driver is driving by you, one of these doors flies open, hits him. Who's gonna pay for that? I am. So, no sir. Since I gotta step out anyway to get him closed, why not step out and open the door whenever the guard steps out? I've been doing like that all the time, even a Dollar General, nobody has said anything to me. But if they say, I'm gonna explain it to them. Are you gonna pay for it, motherfucker? Huh? You gonna pay for it, bro? Well, that's it. That's enough for me yapping for this video. This video might be very freaking long. <laughs> might even put it in two parts, but we'll see. Have a great day, everybody.